Transportation, KCC 2000, question number 9, paper 2. The question reads, a triangle is formed by the coordinates A21, B41, and C16. It is rotated clockwise through 90 degrees about the origin. Find the coordinates of this image. Remarks. So this one, uh, you're given the angle of rotation. You're given the angle of rotation. The angle of rotation is uh, 90 degrees. This one is uh, stated as uh, clockwise. So if the angle is uh, 90 degrees clockwise, uh, that means that this angle is negative 90 degrees. If it is uh, anti-clockwise, it is positive. So in this case, if it was uh, anti-clockwise, it could be positive 90 degrees. Then you're given the center. The center of uh, this uh, rotation is the origin. And if it is the origin, it is 0, 0. Now to solve this question, we're going to use the unit square. It is I, uh, I, J, and K. That is what is going to help us work out this question very well. So let me sketch uh, here. So I will sketch uh, the unit So this is the x-axis, uh, this is the origin, and then this one is the y-axis. So i is there, that is i, which is uh, 1, 0. And then we have j is here, which is uh, 0, 1. And then k is here, which is uh, 1, 1. So when you join these, it will make the, this is what you call the unit square. The origin is 0, 0, O, then I, this one is, uh, let me just indicate this one. This one is I, this one is K, and this one is J. Now, th th that is what is going to help us. Now, since... Um, this uh, movement, the rotation is clockwise. We need just to use um, I. We're going to use uh, use I and J and try to get the images of uh, this rotation, which is clockwise, negative 90 degrees. And uh, look at I. I is here. So if I am to rotate... And I can um, still uh, repeat it down here. I can draw it again here. Yep, I have enough space. So this is uh, I, which is uh, 1, 0. So if I rotate this one in a clockwise 90 degrees, uh, this is what this point will move to this. Place. That is clockwise 90 degrees. So I, 1, 0, will move uh, to this point that is here. This point will be, uh, this now will be the image of I, I prime. It will be 0, negative 1. So therefore, uh, I, which is 1, 0, after these uh, negative 90 rotation degrees, will move to I prime, which is uh, 0, negative 1. Now let's see J. What will happen to J? Uh, J, as you can see from the previous, J is 0, 1. So after the same rotation, negative 90, in a clockwise, so initially uh, J is here. That is where J is. J is here, 0, 1. So if you rotate J in a clockwise direction, 90 degrees, it will move there. That is why it will move. It will definitely shift to this, this is 90 degrees in a clockwise direction. So it will move at where we have uh, I, the same, same place where we have I.
so j prime will go there this is uh, 1 0 so j prime will be 1 0 so that is how basically we use the unit square to get uh, the rotation using negative 90 degrees so just uh, uh, get the this we have i 1 0 move it in a clockwise direction if you move it it will move to 90 degrees so this is a negative 90 degrees and also this one is uh, negative 90 this is a negative 90 degrees as well in a clockwise direction so that is how you get you get this two so after getting i prime the image of i and j prime the image of j we use, we use this two to write the matrix of transformation that now represents a rotation that is um, in a clockwise direction the angle of rotation being negative 90 so looking at these we just need to identify the matrix and the matrix will be given by the matrix that now represents uh, this uh, rotation negative 90 degrees is given by just look at the way they are arranged are we going to pick for i prime i prime 0 negative 1 so we write it in column form 0 negative 1 we write it uh, in negative form that is uh, going to represent i prime then j prime uh, we write it in column form that is 1 0 so this is now the matrix that represents this rotation negative 90 degrees in a clockwise uh, that is about the origin the origin is zero zero now having these you don't know how to get the image we just simply need to pre-multiply our object our points with this matrix of transformation so we take uh, the matrix of the matrix of transformation which is uh, zero negative one and one zero we pre-multiply with the j that is a b c so we have uh, two one four one that is two one four one and c c is a one six so this one should give us a prime b prime now the image like that so you now you have uh, the knowledge of multiplication of matrices the matrix of transformation should always come before it should be pre-multiplied so when you multiply these 0 row 1 column 1 i assume that you already have done this multiplication so this will give uh, when you multiply row 1 column 1 this will give 1 1 and 6 then we'll go to the second row uh, this one will give negative 2, negative 4, and negative 6. Is it negative 6 or no? This one will be negative 1. This one will be negative 1. So negative 2, negative 4, then go down. Is okay. So when you pre multiply these, that is what you obtain. So therefore, uh, the image the image will be given by a the coordinates of a prime will be 1 negative 2 then b prime will be given by 1 negative 4 and then c prime will be given by 6 negative 1 and that is simply how you're supposed to uh, work out that question